Hey everybody, welcome back to Eric's videos. I don't even know what they are anymore. They were off-road independence and then they were other things. And now it's just Eric's videos and reviews of different things. So as some of you may know, recently I started um, tree service work again. A good friend of mine who's helping me today, Mike, got me back into it. I also started climbing trees to do tree service work. So I do bucket work and that kind of stuff. And one of the biggest issues that I think everybody has with climbing trees is trying to get your line set. Yeah, you can spur up trees and that kind of stuff. And there's a whole bunch of debate whether you should spur live trees or not and all that. So barring spurring up to the very top of a tree and setting your line, how do you get them set? Well, usually you throw a bag by hand, you sling it around and you throw it up there and it takes like, forever to try to get your um, line through the exact union or crotch or whatever you want to call it in the tree. So um, online you can buy a number of different things. There's a slingshot called the Big Shot, which a lot of people say is really good. And then there's, uh, I don't remember what exactly it's called, but there's like an air cannon that you can buy as well. Um, the one from treestuff.com has a hand trigger on it and it's around $300, $200? I think it was $199 or something like that, which isn't actually a bad price for what you get out of it, but you can make them cheaper. Um, some guys online are making them for around 50 bucks. I just made one today. It's a little bit beefier than the ones I've seen handmade online and it cost me $90. So here it is. So you can see here that I use galvanized pipe with a cap and of course gas Teflon in all the unions and a reducer down to a one inch uh, ball valve. And um, we put it so that the pull is backwards. So you pull back, but you have to release it all at one time in the air. So you can see Mike here holding it and you can see how he uses it. Unfortunately, the valve is on the left side. So if you're right handed, it can be a bit cumbersome, but when you use your fingers like Mike just did under the barrel, it actually works pretty good. And then we just used a one and a half inch piece of PVC pipe, which the um, throw bag fits in perfectly. I'm using a 12 ounce throw bag. Some people are using eight or nine ounces um, with what was it? 130 PSI. This thing shot well over 80 feet in the air. Yeah. Um, no doubt about it. And we've got this really little coupler here for the PVC pipe and then the reducer, and then it goes into the nipple here with a um, piece of Teflon tape, and then the valve, and then another nipple, and then a reducer from um, one and a half to one, and then this goes up to two inches, and this chamber here is two inches. We have a galvanized cap, and on the back, we have a Schrader tire valve like you would use in um, auto racing. It's uh, got a nut on the outside so that they can't slip out. So we're gonna air this thing up. Um, we just use a compressor and a piece of air, uh, air hose. You can see he's airing it up now. The chamber isn't that big, so it doesn't take that long to air it up. And then we just use a tire valve, which I've got in my pocket. Hold on. So there's Mike doing that. I just use a little tire gauge and then you check it. Once you've checked it, you do have to put a little bit more air in it because it does let like 30 PSI or something out just checking it. And then you've got it ready. And now you've got your valve closed, of course. We don't have any leaks in it. So let's go shoot it. All right, so I have my throw cube here. Have my throw line flicked into it. We've got a 12 ounce bag that's going down the barrel. There's Mike putting it in the barrel there. And it just slides, I mean, perfectly down in there. I, I can't, one and a half inch barrel is the perfect size. So it's a one and a half inch barrel, once again, to a one inch ball valve. And we're gonna shoot it up into this cottonwood. Let me see if I can get to where Mike is shooting and see if I can't get a little bit of what's going on. You wanna on. make sure the bag goes all the way in, down to the bottom, otherwise you have air in there you'll lose some of the pressure because it's filling the void behind the ball yeah you definitely want to make sure it's set all the way down so let's see if we can't show him getting this crotch here we go and he went straight up through all those 
and came back down at us. It is pretty powerful, actually. So, definitely, definitely a better option. <laughs> it's, it, this thing is pretty, pretty cool. I, I gotta say, this, this air cannon is just, and like I said, mine was around 90 bucks to make, but you can make them for cheaper. And um, if you wanna use all PVC. The reason I chose to use the galvanized steel on the end, which made it more expensive, was because this part here is the air chamber and that's the part that builds the pressure in it. We can, we've already put around 150 PSI of air in it and it's held fine. With the PVC, I was afraid that if I dropped it by accident while it was charged with air, it would explode and then PVC would become shrapnel everywhere. I chose so, to go with the galvanized even though it was around 40 bucks more expensive just to try to make sure that I had a bit more safety involved in it so um but that's it that's all it is it's one and a half inch pvc for the the barrel an adapter to a reducer nipple of um one and a half to one and then it's a all thread nipple that goes into the brass air ball fitting and then it's another bra uh uh threaded nipple out of the brass ball fitting into a reducer from one and a half to one and then there's a coupling from one and a half to two. And then my chamber is two inches with a cap and a racing tire or racing wheel Schrader valve or tire valve on the back to hold it all in. If you need any more information about it, let me know and I'll, I'll spell it out for you in written text. So hope that that helps you guys. Hope that you find this interesting and I will see you in the next video. Bye.